Watch what he says. Uh -huh. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. Touch your neighbor and say, in this season of your life, you can't carry people. Amen. When God trying to take you, amen. God is calling you unto himself. You, you, in that season of your life, you relied on your intercessor to get you to a place. But God said, in this season of transition, you got to have your own personal prayer life and your own relationship with God. You have relied on the preachers, you have relied on the prayer warrior to get you to a place of perfection. But in this season of what God is doing in your life, you're going to have to learn how to pray for yourself. Yourself. 
Oh, come on, somebody. Because this next level of promotion, you're going to have to go through that by yourself. Because you have to understand much is given to you and much is required. You hear No, 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 no. That's something that you can't, amen. You can't involve everybody else in it. God said you're going to have to just do it by yourself. And the problem is here, we've been sheltered too long. The problem is we've been relying on other people for so long. But God said what he's about to thrust you into, you're going to have to get by yourself and pray and fast and seek the face of God. Because he told Solomon, if my people would just call by my name, just up of themselves. And seek my face and turn from their wicked way. I will hear from heaven. Touch it. They say, got to turn from some stuff. You got to turn from rebellion and start obeying leadership. I got to quit, quit thinking about your ministry and thinking about your gift and be willing to submit under spiritual leadership. We got everybody that don't want to submit nowhere. Don't nobody want to submit. They want their preacher. They want to do their own things. But you got to understand it's more than preacher. All day we do preacher, preacher save people. But we don't want to go out there and get the harvest. That is a harvest of people that don't even know God. And this is the season that we got to, amen, go out in the hedge and into the highway and to compel men that come into his house that his house may be filled. It's time for us to shift. Shiver my mindset and understand that there are drug addicts out there, people in your life, people in your family, dying to go to hell. If you're going to pray for anything, pray that God save them. Pray that God loose them from the prison. Pray that God will save the drug addict, the dope dealer, the prostitute. That is the mandate of God in this season. Sea. They was trouble. 
simply means they was terrified. And the reason why they were terrified, because they never saw him in his glorified body. Oh, I wish I had some. Now watch what he said. It is a spirit. And they cried out with fear. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of a good cheer, for it is I. Be not afraid. Somebody said, Don't be afraid of this evil. Don't be afraid of this God has not given the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Now watch what he said. I'm going to get through it in a minute. But, and Jesus answered and said, but Peter answered and said, Lord, if thou be thou, bid me to come unto the water. He said, come. My, everybody shout. He said, come. That's all they got is what he heard. He don't see nothing, but he hear it. You still looking to see something, but I move about on what I heard. Because faith don't come by what you see. It come by what you hear. Y'all ain't hear me. God said it and said it. I just got to know it's God. Where is that come? He's still sitting and he said, come. Watch this. Watch this. Come. And when Peter would come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But he saw the winged boasters. And he was afraid, beginning to sink, and he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Won't you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor I, will not be I will not be distracted because of the storm. I will not be distracted because of the storm. See, there's three things, Bishop, that we go through when we're dealing with storm. Either you just came out of a storm, or either you're in a storm, or you're about to get into a storm. But storms, amen, don't last always. Storms come, amen, to tear stuff up, and then some storm just barely hit us. But what got me more than anything, it was, it was profound here because he says, come. He didn't understand when Jesus would walk in the water. Because it took faith for him to step out of where he was at. Step out of his familiar. He was familiar with, with the situation he was in. But now, amen, he hears a voice. He can't see nobody, but yet still he hears. And we got people now, amen, we, 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 we only move by what we see. Amen. We got that Thomas mentality. Because Thomas said, if I don't see it, if I, if I can't touch it, I'm not going to believe God. But there's many of us have come to a place of maturity that we don't have to see what God said. If God said it, it's said it. And so here Peter is, only thing he has is what he hears. Because Jesus said, he said, come. So in the midst of coming, he had to make a constant decision. He can see him, but yet still, he's here. Because the only thing he see is the storm that's raging. But he can't hear the voice that's speaking in the midst of the storm. And some of us in our life right now, the only thing you can see is the storm. The storm of the voice, storm of hurt, storm of what you went through, but you can't hear God in the midst of the storm. So Peter now, glory to God, the only thing he hears, is saying come and in the midst of him here he steps out of the boat because first of all it takes faith to step out of something that you've been familiar with and go into something that you ain't been familiar with and what God trying to do to many of us he trying to take us out of the thing that been familiar he's been familiar coming to the church a certain way praising God a certain way and doing things a certain way but this is the season of transition God bless you. This is Apostle DeMond Tolliver from the Abundance Record Ministry in the city of Dallas, Texas. I'm so delightful and grateful to God that he has blessed me to write this great book. That's right, Breaking Ungodly Soul Ties. 
many people that's been affected by, amen, being an ungodly soul time. You need to purchase this book. It's going to be a great, great blessing to you. Many people that have been dealing with ungodly relationship, you need to purchase this book. It's going to give you clarity. It's going to give you a revelation about what it means to be in ungodly relationship and being affected by ungodly soul tie. Listen here. You need to get this book. It's going to bless your heart real, real good. This is Apostle DeMond Tolliver. God bless you. Come and lift your hands and bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. Give praise and shout. Continue to be in my mouth. Oh, man, the Father, Lord, do me and let us exalt his name together. Come on, he's here in the place. So I get the little blood, the anointed, and the strong, the young. Hallelujah. Come and praise him. Come and magnify God. Look at today and say, I'm about to get through this thing. He may go this short. It ain't gonna delay the process of God. Hallelujah, come on the blessing. Come on the bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah, my mind coming back when I do some things. Hallelujah. Come on, don't stop praising. Don't stop blessing the name. Don't stop giving them glory. Yeah, my mama sat down, my mama said. Look on my mama, my sat down. Give my mama my son that I'm high. Lift your hands like the Lord of God. The Lord said, Think of that strength. Because some of your father tried to try you. And some strange things has happened to you. That makes some strange things has been going on in your life. And you said, Lord, I don't understand. And the enemy been trying to sidetrack you, he's been trying to derail you. But God said tonight, this morning, it's time for you to redirect your focus. Because purpose is on your life. And God said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And he's about to heal you from the past hurt. That's one in the middle. God said, you got to let it go. You got to forgive him right now. And the spirit of the Lord is about, oh, I feel deliverance taking place right now. I feel, I feel it coming right now. Y'all better get God to pray. Y'all better get God to pray. You better get God to pray. He's about to heal you. I, I said he's about to heal you. He said you're gifted with potential. There's so many gifts that's laying dormant in your life. But today the Spirit of the Lord is about to reactivate every gift that's been laying dormant. Oh, oh my. I, I don't care how many times you fall. Get back up. Oh my. You come out of my shot down. Oh my. And the devil been torment your mind. Got to lose you right there. So I get God to praise. The Spirit of the Lord. Oh God, I feel it. There it is right there. Oh my, 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 shot down. He come out of my, 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 let him do it for you right there. Let him do it for you. Let him somebody give God to pray. Somebody give God to pray. Somebody give God to go. Lift up his name. Lift up his name. Lift up his name. Lift up God. Come here, my God. There's a hunger. There's a hunger in your spirit for the whole God. And God's about to a place of prayer like you've never been praying before. Because God said, I've got you at your broken point. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And everything that you've been torn with, every addiction about to break off your life now. The thing that you've been wrestling with, he said, Lord, I need you to help me, God. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't break loose from this. It's, it's got me in bondage. It, it got me by. I want to do what Paul said, what I want to do, he was still present with me. I want you to lift up hands right now because the day is the day of a deliverer. The day of the day of the turnaround for you. And God said, He's taking a taste. Go by the shot. He's taking a taste from you. That that you've been addicted to, you ain't going to be addicted to more. Because the power of God is about to set you free. He come out of my shot. He come out of my shot. Power. Show. Oh, God, I feel it right there. Ah, show. Go by. Let me do it for you. Let him do it for you. I feel the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, there it is. Oh God, my God, my God, my Oh God, somebody give a prayer. Oh God, my 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 God, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on. There's three people in here. The Lord said you've been having shortness of breath. 
And I want you to know that devil ain't gonna kill you. I want you to come down right now. The Spirit of the Lord is about to heal you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to come right now. That devil would not kill you. God said ain't through it to you. Come on. The Spirit of the Lord is about to heal. Come on down here, lift up your lift, lift your hands up right now. The Lord is about to do it for you. He's doing it for you right there, young man. The Spirit of the Lord is all upon you. Uh, he's all upon you. You go Oh God, lift your hands to Jesus right now. Lift your hands to Jesus because he's about to heal you. He's about to heal you. Somebody say healing is in the room. Healing is in the room right now. In the name of Jesus. You'll have to walk with your head down another day. But lift up your head. Oh, you get. And be he lifted up. God, we pray you. Touch. Oh, God, touch right now. Somebody give God the praise. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, glory to God. The devil would not destroy you. Somebody said, the devil would not destroy you. He said, I brought you too far for you to turn back right now. I don't care what you're going through. I want you to know that there's healing. Somebody, oh God, I curse every infirmity in your body. Somebody give God the praise. Hallelujah. God said, your blood don't function properly after the day. I don't care what the doctor has seen. Who reports you're going to believe. And I want you to know there's some healing about to take place for you in the name of the devil will not show you, the devil will not destroy you. God is about to add to your life. Somebody give God to pray. Because you're a praying woman. And the devil asks you. Power. Somebody give God to pray. Touch. Oh, God, I feel the anointing. Oh, God, make a hold today. Oh, God, make a hold today, God. Touch. Oh, God, make a hold right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God the praise. Lift your hands right there. Hallelujah. Lift your hands right there. Lift your hands. Father, we give you praise for him now. Touch him, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Draw him up, God. Draw him up, God. Touch. Oh, God, we thank you. We give you praise. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Don't be afraid. Come on. God did not give me the spirit of fear. Come on. Don't be afraid. I mean, you don't have to be fearful. I rebuke the spirit of fear. Lord, touch him right now. Feel that void in her life. The spirit of the press has got to leave her now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you right now. Oh God, I feel it right now. Touch! Oh God, I feel the spirit of the mind now. I feel the healing right there. I feel the power of the living God. Somebody give God the praise. I was at, with the hands up on her right there. Some woman.